So here's my audience. Hello. Okay. Are you feeling the burn? Trying to make America great again? Maybe a part of the Yang Gang? Are you tired of politics and cheesy slogans? Well, I won't be attempting to encourage you voting in one way or the other. That isn't what is important to me. Being politically engaged in our society can be exhausting with constant news coverage, bickering between parties and uninformed voting happening all the time. This exhaustion can leave people feeling disenfranchised and lead them to disengage from politics completely. There's also a huge problem with people not believing that voting is worth their time or their energy. In this class, I'm sure that most, if not all of us, are able to vote. The question then is, do we? Today I'd like to talk to you a bit about how important it is to vote. I'll address this topic by discussing voting as a civic duty, voting as a privileged right, and how you can start voting. So to start off, I will tell you a bit about voting as a civic duty. The problem is that because voting is not legally mandated or compulsory like it is in some countries, people don't see it as an obligation. Although I don't personally advocate making voting compulsory, I think that educating people on why voting is so important will show them that they have a responsibility to our society. As Stanford political scientist Dr. Emily Chapman states, consistently low turnout rates diminish many of the distinctive democratic virtues of elections. It's common knowledge that voting and elections are the backbone of democracy. Then I have to ask myself, why do many of us feel as though voting isn't important? Only 56% of Americans voted in the 2016 presidential election, and we are ranked 26th out of 32 highly developed countries in terms of voter turnout. We are ranked very highly in most things as Americans, and it is time we rank high in voter participation as well. According to the Pew Research Center, a large majority of Americans actually believe that voting is crucial to being a good citizen, even above paying taxes or serving on a jury. Here is that graph from the Pew Research Center, and you can see that up here at 74 is votes in elections, and then all the way down here at the bottom is displaying an American flag. I thought this was really interesting because we have such a low voter turnout, yet it is ranked the top most important part of being an American. Like I said, it's even ranked more important than paying taxes, following the law, and serving on the jury. Why is it that we rank so high in believing that voting is important, but we don't do it. Although I believe that voting is a responsibility, it's also a privilege and a right. The United States was founded on the desire for representative government, and our forefathers fought hard for the democracy that we have today. If you're a woman or a person of color, your ancestors fought even harder for you to now have the right to vote. Black men were not given the right to vote until 1870 with the 15th Amendment and they weren't truly allowed to vote until the elimination of the poll tax that disenfranchised many African Americans almost 100 years later. Women were also not given the right to vote until 1920 after a lengthy battle between suffragists and the government. The way I see it, people would not have fought so hard for the right to vote if it wasn't imperative to our society. In order to be represented, we need to vote. Over the past few years, I've seen an endless cycle of people not feeling represented and then not voting because the government doesn't represent them or their interests. We as millennials, apologies to anyone who isn't, need to stop this cycle and we can. If we don't step up to the plate and vote, we will be another generation of people who feel the government does not represent us. It's time to take back the government into the hands of the people the way a representative government should be. It is also important for us to remember that there are people around the world who are still fighting for democracy and rights. Not everybody is lucky enough to have a government that represents them. We should feel lucky and exercise our rights because we have them. I hope that someone watching this now recognizes how important it is to participate in our democracy by voting. Now, if you're asking some of the common questions like, how do I register to vote? 
And what if I can't make it to a polling station on election day? I would like to help. If you are 18 years or older, have no felonies, and have an identification card, congratulations, you're eligible to vote. All the information that I'm about to tell you about registering and voting is easily found just by Googling. So if you're not from Louisiana, which is what I will be talking about, then just Google it for your own state because laws and rules can vary state by state. For example, I'm from Minnesota, so I had a little bit of difference in registering than people here have. In Minnesota, I was actually even able to register just by checking a box when I got my identification card. In the state of Louisiana to register, you can even go online using the Go Vote online registration system. If online isn't your thing and you're a little bit more old school, you can also register in person or by filling out your Louisiana voter registration application. And that can be found online as well. Registering to vote is always free because it's your right as an American. Again, all of this information, including a printable registration form and the online registration system, can be found by just Googling register to vote in Louisiana. I will also put a link in the description box of this video and in my Moodle post, just in case anybody does need to register, because like I've said, it's very important. <laughs> if you're unable to make it to a voting booth on election day, don't let that stop you from voting. There are alternatives to in-person voting on election day, including absentee ballots and early voting. In Louisiana, you need a valid reason to vote by mail. Despite this, absentee voting can be a great choice for college students as higher education is a valid reason to receive an absentee ballot. I personally always vote absentee and have for several years. I also have experience voting early in person and both went smoothly and very quick and efficiently. It was a really great alternative other because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to vote. I am lucky enough to come from a state where there is reason free absentee voting. So if you are not a registered Louisiana voter, check the rules in your state because maybe you also come from a reason free state and you won't need to submit a reason why you need an absentee ballot. But in Louisiana, you do not need a reason to vote early. There are several places within each parish that you can go to in order to vote early. The polls will open 14 to 7 days before the election, so check online to see when the election polls will open for the particular election that you're trying to vote for. As you can see, voting in elections is an important part of being an American. In this speech, I've told you a little bit about why I see voting as a civic duty as well as a right that we need to exercise and a privilege that we are very lucky to have. As millennials, we have the power to put people back into the government through exercising our right to vote and making our democracy work for the people. I've explained to you how you can register to vote in Louisiana and how you can vote in ways other than just going to the poll on election day. It's so accessible for you to vote now. We are so lucky. Whether you are a Democrat, a Republican, an Independent, Green Party, or any other party under the sun, voting is important. I want your voice to be heard. You can have an impact on this country and this world. I would like to leave you with some words from President Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. This nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth. Thank you.